to use the mayor. <laughs> Everything he did was cool. The way he walked was cool. The way he talked was cool. The way he smoked cigarette was the coolest. Can you imagine James Dean smoking one of these fucking bags? Absolutely no cool factor. You know what I'm saying? You must be, uh, Roy Boyle, right? Well, this is a good day. I was hoping I'd get a chance to meet you. I say you used to be something back in the day. I mean, personally, uh, no offense. But I just don't see it, man. All right, man. Nice to meet you too. Someday, redefined rips across these county lines with my home sweet Carolina on my mind. Bullets fly and sirens scream, darkness like I have never seen. So I'll close my eyes and pray it's all a dream. Close my eyes and pray it's all a dream. So take me back to Carolina, take me home to Southern Pride. The only flag that waves above us is a wall with stones and stripes. So take me back to my own home, my garden country to our bones. Night in the morning song. Hope I stayed way too long. Now it's here and we're all Carolina strong.
I wish there was something I could do. Oh, I forgot to tell you. The other night, a couple nights ago, I, I saw a shooting star and I made a wish that I could take all of your pain and bury it in the sand. That's what I wished for. Oh no. I said it out loud. Now it's not gonna come true. Oh crap. Hey, you must be real proud wearing those dog tags. They're so shiny. Hey, guess what today is? Uh, uh, is it your birthday? No, it's not my birthday. It's Friday, which means China Doll's having her famous dumplings. I swear to God, I could smell them from here. You, you said you like that smell, right? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Rory, come on! If we miss out, we'll have to wait another week. another American soldier has crossed the border to join forces with the extreme radical terrorist group known as the D-Tag, making him the 13th American soldier to engage with the group. The soldier's identity is currently being kept confidential for the safety of his family. Recently, the Death to All group have claimed responsibility for the latest beheading video of photojournalist Taja Rosh of Sweden. People called it prison when I was growing up. But these are my roots, and this is How's it going, I Eddie? Love. How the hell are you, man? Because everybody knows me, and I know them, and I believe 
that's the way we were supposed to live. I wouldn't trade one single day. Here in small town. What the hell's going on, Grease Monkey? Grease Monkey. <laughs> What's up, White Lightning? <laughs> man, man, you a little bent out of shape because you lost some money to me the other night? Come on. Oh, I'll kick your ass again tonight. Yeah, right. There's no way, man. I am the chess master. You know what you should do? You should go back and play checkers, man. That's more your IQ. Hey, listen, man. I think I'm doing pretty good against you. I'd say we're about 50-50. But, you know, anytime you want to switch off and play a little rummy. You know. Rummy. I'll play rummy when you play rummy. Not that penny a point Michigan rummy. That's too much work, man, for no payoff. Come on. Hey, listen, man, I'm uh, heading on down the diner, get something to eat. You want something? No, 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 no. I got to finish this for Larry, man. He hit bingo jackpot last night, and uh, now he's got some cash. So uh, I'm going to get some of it. If you don't mind, I get back to work. Ah, you got some money. Yeah, you can pay me back that 20 bucks he keeps on borrowing. Not my problem. I'll catch you around, man. I'll be here. I'll see you tonight. That, that's a possibility. Very much. I need another dumpling, too. Oh, you like Susie's dumplings. <laughs> See, Kenny? You a lucky man. Everybody loves my dumplings. Of course they love your damn dumplings. That's the only thing you know how to cook. And don't you got a damn cat or something to save in a tree? Susie, you're going to get us both in trouble now. <gasps> oh, don't worry. Has been no fun. <laughs> hey, how you doing, guys? Oh. Good morning, Sheriff. Sheriff. You here for some of Susie's dumplings, too? Everybody loves Susie's dumplings. <laughs> See, Kenny, cherish your wife dumplings, because we all do. Go do some damn work. It's your tall ass. Leave my wife dumplings out of this. Hey, woman, don't nobody care about all that. You didn't say that last night when I was giving you Godzilla. Oh, yeah, Godzilla, you just say that. You don't think you're so big. Hey, Luann. Oh, hi. You know we can all hear you, right? I don't give a damn, Luann. I can hear everybody. I got one good damn ear. I can hear that man belch. I can hear him fart. I can hear him do chewing every damn thing. Crazy people I work for. You fired. But I'm gonna let you know when. I hope there's not any meat in this thing. Because it's Good Friday and you know I can't eat meat. I mean, I can, but yeah, don't get me wrong. I, I, I love meat, just not today. <laughs> what? Excuse me, I'm dry. <sighs> Never mind. Sorry, Jesus. Are you an ex marine? Um, well, I am a Marine. You're never a former or an ex. Uh, once a Marine, always a Marine. Huh. <laughs> Lieutenant Roy Boyle, Special Forces. Very honorable. Thank you. 
Though I gotta tell you, that Vietnam, whew, that was hard. Get inside, woman. Luana's having problems with that damn register again. And I told you to stop feeding these damn bums. I, 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 I'm uh, not a bum. Uh, Grant Hodges. <laughs> you sure look like a damn bum. And you got on dog tags like you was a Marine. You weren't no damn Marine. You were. Look at you now. You're a damn disgrace. Clean up, boy. Pitiful. Pitiful? Ah, oh, come on now. That ain't necessary. We're not doing anything wrong. Oh, is that right? Let me ask you a question. Those signs that you and every other vagrant carry, is there some sort of homeless union code or something on how big the signs should be? And tell me this, where y'all get them magic markers from to write on the sign? Who writes them damn signs? Right, stop being a dick. All right, just stop being a dick. <laughs> you got some mouth on you, street rat. Oh, you said your piece. He did nothing wrong with you, OK? You don't have to rub it in. You got beef, do it with your wife, all right? My beef is with your ass. You get your shit together, clean up, like I said. Hey, Roy, um, I, I hope you're not angry with me that I told Susie that I was you. It's just that, um, I don't know, this is pretty much the only thing I have in my life that means something to me. No, that's fine. I'm not angry at all, Grant. In fact, I'm sure if you were a Marine, you'd make a pretty amazing soldier. Really? Wow. Um, thanks, Roy. Um, wow, thank you. You want these back? Nah, you keep them. It means more to you than it does to me, okay? Doing that just because you're pissed off at the president. You were sold to yourself, y'all know better than that. I hear you doing that one more time, I'm gonna lock you up and throw away the key, you understand me? Yes, sir. Come on, get the hell out of here and go get them damn blueberry pancakes, whatever the hell it is you eat. Better watch that cholesterol, boy. How are you? What would you like today? Susie's dumplings, maybe? King bang 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 bang. King bang ping bang ping. Nobody don't give a damn about that. I'm gonna get me some Rosetta Stone and learn every damn thing you talking. Against the dying of the light, there can be no mercy for any force, blocking his path from his righteousness. Wife is having a bath. Is that right? Yep. Everything you need all packed up and ready to go right here, baby. What's that? This is the master plan. 
Port City's there. Battleship. Checkpoint. Listen, I'm not judging or anything, but the first time should be special, memorable. It was, Damiano. Fifteen dollars, fifteen minutes. I even remember her name. Melody. You bopping strippers now, Foley? Ooh. Who was that? <laughs> gonna miss these days? Yeah, I'm gonna miss it, bro. Hoorah. Hey. Hey. Is this where the party's at? Yes, ma'am. Come on in. God damn! Woo! Where's that music at? Turn that music up, boys. It's time to party. I see somebody's been partying over here with the Sleeping Beauty. The other day, some group came by and tried to sell me on the idea of building a paintball park on my land so they could play war games. I mean, who the hell needs that? Yeah, it doesn't sound that bad. You do have a nice piece of land. So didn't you tell me uh, Lincoln was on your land one time? Well, I mean, that's how all the scuttlebutt started about these tunnels, you know? So I guess they connected that with Lincoln. Oh, that's right, those famous tunnels. Start right here at your house and end up the White House shitter. Hey, but I tell you what, man, it's true. One of these goddamn things is right here in my basement. I mean, Larry didn't believe me. He came by the other day. I showed it to him. The guy asked a lot of stupid ass questions, man. Like, uh, you think they can get a golf cart in one of his tunnels? I mean, how dumb is that? I don't know. I think Larry smokes a little too much of that wacky tobacco. <laughs> They built the tunnels to help Lincoln escape during the Civil War. I don't think they had golf carts back in those days. See, that doesn't make any sense at all, what you're saying right there. Why would Lincoln escape from the White House and come through a tunnel and end up in the heart of Dixie? That just doesn't make any goddamn sense. I mean, if there are tunnels downstairs, and say there are, there would have to be something a little bit more diabolical about it. Otherwise, that's just urban legend. Yeah, that's a possibility. But I know what I got, dog. Did you just call me dog? That's urban. <laughs> no, look, man, I mean, let me tell you something. The land may be silent, but it has a lot to say. All the memories of all those wars, all the blood spilled on this land, man. Mm. You referring to the wars between the Indian tribes or the war between the states. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the big battle in Fort Fisher, man, where the Union soldiers kicked the Confederates' ass. And they had this stupid-ass, crazy-ass general named General uh, Bragg. Tried to burn down the whole goddamn city, man. He burned down all the supply depots. But after that, all hell broke loose, man. There were more wars than you can think of. Blood was spilled all over this goddamn land. It's said that all the ponds were running red with blood. That's true. 
I didn't know that. All right, buddy, I gotta go. Come on, man, where you going? Where you going? I ain't finished yet. I got more to tell you. Of course you're not finished. You tell me the same damn story every night. <laughs> yeah, but I tell you what, man. It's really sad. Brothers killing brothers, friends killing friends. That's what's sad. You're right. It is sad, brothers killing brothers. But you know what? You got to admire them for sticking to their guns, no matter what the cost. You're right. See you around, old buddy. I'm here, dog. Excuse me, Gunny. I got something you need to listen to. Must be a fluke. They said something about everything's in order, but I don't detect a threat here. What exactly did you intercept, Corporal? Uh, transmission stated, battleship is secure, Operation Magenta's a go. Tunnels need securing at checkpoint 72 hours. Then static, honey. Have you picked up any other radio chatter about battleships? Native, just this message. Port City, that's a, a small tourist town. Now, they have the USS North Carolina there. It's been there since 1962, but that old girl is nothing more than a museum now. Sounds like we stumbled upon some kids playing war games with their walkie-talkies. Disregard, Corporal. Well, good news or no threat. I'll do that. Carry on. Roy, 
Um, you want to go take a walk with me? Um, it might be fun. Maybe we could hear more about the, uh, the troops coming from the tunnel in the battleship. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I'm just going to crash, man. Huh. What troops are you talking about? Um, well, sometimes when I'm uh, down at the dumpster, I hear these people talking, and uh, I don't know. It's probably someone with their TV turned up too loud. What are they saying? Um, I don't know. I think it's this show about the military. Um, uh, it's about this battleship that, that, that comes up the Potomac and blows up Washington, and, uh, and then they kill the president, and... Uh, take over the country. <laughs> oh, shit. Underground troops coming up into the White House. <laughs> oh, boy, that sounds action-packed, huh? Yeah. Uh, I wonder if it stars Bruce Willis. Yeah, it's got to be TV. Um, well, I'm off. Uh, you sure you want to come? No, I'm good. Thanks. Hey, buddy. Come here. Where's Boyle? Who? Roy Boyle, the guy you've been hanging out with. Uh, look, mister, I don't know. Okay, I get it. You're protecting his whereabouts. I understand that. But you guys don't need to be on the street. Uh, look, mister, I, I, I don't want any trouble. Okay, fair enough. Tell him to get a hold of TJ. Farming season's coming up. I need some extra hands. I don't pay much. I can provide you with three hots, a cot, Safe bathroom. Ultimately, it's a safe place to stay. You guys need to be off the streets. Okay? Okay, then. You tell him to talk to TJ. TV in there. Chester, what are you doing here? Everything all right? Yeah, yeah. I was uh, going to ask you the same thing. You left this behind. Come on in. Make yourself at home. Forgetting your peace? What's up with that, man? You getting Alzheimer's or something? I guess I got a lot on my mind. Uh, okay. I mean, it's not that little Asian chick at the diner, is it? Oh, definitely not her. That was a long time ago, buddy. Uh, well, you know, she's married to a brother. I wouldn't piss him off if I was you. You know what I mean? I don't think he's all there. Yeah, you're right about that. Well, what can I say? I'm just feeling a little bluesy. You don't mean to bust out crying, do you? No, no, please don't do that. Want a drink? No, no, I can't do that, man. I gotta go to church tomorrow. Come on. Here you go. No, no. Got a little of that moonshine Corey made. Come on, bro. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Chill of vanilla. <sighs> it's to our friends who aren't here anymore. Yeah, I'll drink to that. <sighs> that a boy. Boy, I got your boy. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Did I say boy? I meant Roy. <laughs> That's different.
That's an awesome thing. You know, it's an awesome time for, for us to share the true meaning of Easter. Make sure you bring her next week. Thank there you. he is, Thank my you. Manchester. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Well, thanks to you, my head, huh? You got my message. Thank you for coming. Everything all right, Bobby? No, I need to talk to you about something serious. All right. Come on. I'm a bit concerned. This is so unlike her. Babs is always here. She never misses my services, especially Easter. When's the last time you saw her? Middle of last week, she, uh, she wanted a jackpot on bingo night. Jackpot? Well, maybe her and Larry took the loot and went on down to Myrtle Beach for the night. I gotta run a few errands. I'll head over there and I'll, I'll check in on them. Thank you. Don't you worry about a thing, Reverend Bobby. Thank you very much. I'll take care of it. today. <gasps> Kenny, you scare me. You give me a heart attack. Just like your food. What did I say to you? What? Get inside. Yeah, whatever. Kung Fu to you, too. You're a damn shame. You are an embarrassment. You and your gutter rat friend keep digging in my trash can. I might mistake you for a raccoon. Shoot your ass. You know, raccoon is some good eating. You pull yourself together. I walked in, the furniture would be all moved around. The sofas would be facing the opposite direction of the television. You know, this beautiful little girl has told me a lot about you. She did? Is it, is it good or bad? Because I feel like I'm nerdy and awkward, and sometimes I can hear people. Mm, relax. It's all good. It's, it has everything to do with the amount of homework you give this little girl. Well, okay, that'll actually be true. Well, that's a good thing. Oh, hi! How are you? Hi. 
What can I get you this morning? This will shock you, but two cheeseburgers. <laughs> First one with fries, strawberry shake. Second one with onion rings and a Coke, please. Okay. Would you like anything to eat? You know, they have some wonderful dessert. They have peach cobbler, apple pie. Oh, I'm sorry, we all had a peach. The big deputy, he ate everything, he ate all of it. <sighs> Doofus. <laughs> the chick is certifiably crazy. Certified, huh? I'm telling you, I got the shrink bills to prove it. Facts. Go ahead, Sheriff. I wanna head on out to Larry and Babs' place. Copy that, I'll meet you out there in 15. Gotta go to Babs and Larry Connors. You got this? I got this. All right, cool. I'll buy the beer. See ya. <laughs> okay. Enjoy. Okay, so what branch of the service was your husband in? You, sir? Really? Yes. Come on. Army, medic, husband. You haven't been listening at all. But I don't look like a soldier to you. She's too beautiful to be a soldier. My dad was in Iraq, too. Really? Easy, Cass. Easy, easy. Don't talk like that. Don't drink that too fast till you get one of those um, ice cream headaches. <laughs> well, tell me about it, soldier. Not a soldier, Dom. I'm a Marine. That's right. Marines aren't soldiers, are they? They're Marines! Proud. Very proud to be a Marine. Desert Storm. Trained hand-to-hand -hand combat expert. Um, part of the team that launched the first Patriot missile. So, I mean, there is absolutely no question I am a very proud Marine. Hoorah. There was a struggle in the other room as well. It looks like they fought, he drowns her, then he comes in here and swallows his pistol. Oh, definitely not a domestic squabble. They were both murdered. What's with the playing cards? Must be some kind of a message. All right, get a hold of forensics. Get him over here, I want this place gone over with a fine tooth comb. CNN has learned of yet another video circulating the internet by DJ. Even though the video is censored, TVNN is warning the nature of this video is intended for mature audiences due to the horrific execution of 12 American hostages being tortured and violently killed. TVNN apologizes for the graphic nature of this video. unidentified soldier. If anyone can identify the soldiers, please contact the TVNN help desk immediately.
Something's here. wrong. Over here, bud. Something's wrong. What's up? Let's go to the, the television. It's got to the ex what, executions. What, slow it down. They slow it down. Slow go down. to the TVNN site. I think it's going down here. You're telling me that the executions are happening here, here in Port City? Yes. Really? Dude, it's have happening. you lost Dude, your you, mind? We have something living here in Port City. Oh, boy. Jesus! TJ! TJ! Go to the TV and inside. Check it out! Did you see it yet? I not see it. I'm Dude, telling you. I don't you, know what you're talking it's about. It's going down I no here. no idea. TJ, it's going down here. The executions, I think they're happening here. Here. Lost you need to believe me. You've lost it, dude. You, we have something living here in Port City. We have something living here in Port City. Please, calm down and come back to reality. Think about what you're saying. Think about what you're saying, man. This is Port City, little Port City. Honest to God, we're on American soil. That does not happen on American soil, okay? No, I, I know what I saw. I saw what I saw. I saw it. I saw it! I saw it! TJ! I, I saw you, it! Man. I saw it! It's happening here, TJ! TJ! How's some of Susie's dumplings? Where's the little soldier boy today? <laughs> Go to the TV and end site. Check the video. Okay, why would I make something like this up? Is that all you got to say to me? Is it? My daughter is worried to death about you, and so is everybody else. You've been living on the street for 18 months now. 18 months, and this is- They were killed, okay? Our brothers. So, something. Something is not right here in America's back door. Easy, Roy. No one here is the enemy. Go on. Go check it out. Go! Roy. Roy, do you understand what you're saying? You're accusing our town of some kind of homegrown terrorism? That's nuts. People we see every day, people we love, that's crazy talk, man. Just crazy talk. I know what I saw. I know what I saw. Grant was on to something. Grant, the man talks to walls. Seriously? Don't judge! Check it out! Do some police work instead of being the party fight in this fake Mayberry town. Fine, I'll check it out. But if nothing else to calm you down. Another American soldier has crossed the border to join forces with the extreme radical terrorist group known as the DTAC, making him the 13th American soldier to engage with the group. The soldier's identity is currently being kept confidential for the safety of his family. Recently, the Death to All group have claimed responsibility for the latest beheading video of photojournalist Taja Rosh of Sweden. In other world news, the World Summit meeting will move forward as originally planned for early May. This is the first time each head of state will be meeting together at the White House. Expect super gridlock and high volume of security during this three-day event. Your sandwich is almost ready, Tom. Thank you, sweetheart. You all right? Yeah, it's been a rough kind of day. I had one friend turned up dead and 
Had to put another one in jail. A lot on the brain. Baby girl, I'll have the usual. <laughs> what you up to, Thomas? Well, not what you think. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, I got the controls. What do you own the place? Home away from home, dog. <laughs> Turn it down, what can I get you? Um, classic martini. Gin or vodka? Vodka. Vodka. Olive. Twist. Um, <laughs> Make it a twist. You got it. Huh. Sheriff, you remembered my drink. Impressive. How can I forget? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Brother's gonna be pissed, man. <laughs> you know, the two of you men together are like the school children. It's very sweet. Well, we've known each other 32 years. 32 years? Man, you never could count. It's more like 42. I've known you since kindergarten. I'm the only black friend you got, man. Um, Sheriff, Kenny and I talked, and uh, we don't want to press charges. This poor man has been through so much. We don't want to damage him anymore. Maybe he should see a doctor or something. That's very nice, yeah. I gotta get going. Don, you got that sandwich ready? It's right here, Tom. Let me get around to tequilas for uh, everybody. You got it. There you go, honey. Drink up, everybody. Have a good day. See you, Thomas. Have a nice one, dog.
Sorry, I can't. I ain't a part of this. Something wasn't right. The street rat came in, and then the sheriff popped up in the alley to talk to her, and then she snuck off to the bar. She fed a lot of people. She sneaked food out to the back to them, and, and then they vanished. I didn't think nothing of it at first. Hell, I didn't even know that we owned this. She didn't know that I could read lips. Today, the sheriff came by and he told her to get ready and that they'll meet at the checkpoint. So what do we do? I know someone. He'll know what to do. I checked out your story. I dug around. And? I gotta wait for the sheriff. He'll know what to do with this. What? Who to call. This is state police. What? Military, maybe. Hey, what'd you find out? You're right, okay? I found something. What? Well, what'd you find out, Freddy? Get you out of here. What'd you find out? I found these behind the dumpster. This isn't a coincidence. Going on, fellas. Oh, I was just talking to Roy. Yeah. How's it going, buddy? Hey, man, I got you one of your favorite sandwiches. Sorry about having to slip it through the bar. Roast beef, a little Swiss cheese pickle, a little bit of mayo, and a kooky cola to wash it down. Probably haven't had one in a long time. You don't want to eat that, all of you. Hey, you take it easy there, big boy. He'll eat it in his own time. You know, Roy. It's a good thing folks around here still like you. And I just spoke to Susie, and her and Kenny aren't going to press charges. Now, I got to tell you, son, you, know, you were a real hero around here. I mean, nowadays, you're just scaring the hell out of everyone. All this talk about townsfolk killing soldiers like yelling fire in a crowded movie theater. You just don't do that. You're gonna put the people in a panic frenzy. I know. <sighs> what the hell's going on, son? Sheriff, I think you... You just hold on there, Freddy. I'm trying to talk to Roy. I wish I could say I understand you, Roy. But I don't. But I will tell you this, you need to get your shit together, son, and be able to stand back up on your feet. You're right. I think I've just been tired. I, I don't know, I mean, I'm, I was wrong for, for my actions. I need to clean up my act. Roy, boy, what are you doing? What do you mean by that, deputy? You got something on your mind? Sheriff, Roy was correct. I checked into what he said. Well, now, Roy over here, he just told me he was fabricating the whole story. You know what happened? But, Freddy, it's okay. I just need rest. Okay, I've been tired. I'm tired. I mean, it's cool. cool. He can handle this. Now, look, somebody better start talking plain here. I found these. Lordy, I sure wish you hadn't done that, Freddy. What 
what you savvy? Hey, put the gun down. You go downstairs and lock the door. What just happened? What just happened? The what did... Oh. What just happened is a sacrifice in a cause that is long overdue. What, what are you talking about? This was not my intention, but it is a necessary evil in the execution of our great revolution. Dude, you're not making any sense. Oh, I'm making more sense than anybody has in a long time. Right. God. It's time for America to rise from the ashes. Are you out of your mind? Are you... The day has finally come when justice shall be served. And a new and greater America will rise from the ashes. Seriously, are you out of your mind? No, I've never known greater clarity. Now, you served this country, and so did I. I have held good American boys in my arms and watched them die. And for what? To serve the whims and the financial interest of gutless, greedy politicians, politicians who would pick the pockets of all good Americans while they fill their own coffers with gold earned by the blood of better men. So you're you telling me you just killed Freddie and Grant and the others because you're pissed off at the government? You are not listening to me, Roy. Deputy Parks had to die because he could never be a part of this cause. And before this night is over, many will perish. Scores will fall. Friends and family will be sacrificed for a greater noble cause. So you just killed innocent soldiers to prove a freaking point? There are no innocents, military or civilian. The day has finally come for all good Americans to take up a rifle and fight for this cause or die in its wake. Blood will run through the streets and the valleys of this nation so that this country can be free again. Listen to me, Roy. I want you to be a part of us, Roy. I want you to sit down and I want you to think what I'm saying to you, son. They have done you wrong. There's a greater goal and there's a greater reason. You're out of your mind. TVNN is warning the nature of this video is intended for mature audiences due to the horrific execution of 12 Honestly, American hostages being know. tortured and violently killed. TVNN apologizes. So tell me again what video. happened. I would like you to be part of our fight, bro. You, you were a special forces lieutenant. You took the oath. You served this country with honor and distinction. And what did they do for you? Nothing. On the day that you were supposed to be discharged, they told you, well, you don't, you don't have a home to go back to. It was all swept away by a tornado, and your pregnant wife, and your children, and even your parents who happened to be there visiting on the day of the terrible tragedy were all killed. That callous and heartless decision took a piece of your soul away that you will never get back. You come and you be a member of my family, Roy. A family that will take back this nation from the filthy ideologues that sit on both sides of the table and give it back to we the people. So you and Stax think you're gonna go up against this country? Dude, you're insane. You're insane. You're not alone. There are thousands just like us, son. Trained and eager to fight upon my word. Yeah, it's a little late to rewrite the Constitution. Thomas Jefferson said that when a government can no longer serve its people, that it is the duty of its citizens to rise in revolt, and that we shall, sir. As we speak, tonight the great North Carolina will deploy and sail right into Washington and lay siege upon the Capitol. This is real. Dang it. 
do something. Let's go get Roanne. Oh, so you think you can just what, steal an old battleship and go unnoticed? Just sail up there like that? You forgot what country you live in. Oh, well, look, everyone what, thinks I'm crazy because I chose to live off the grid? Sir, you are batshit crazy. It's a new system, new government, from the people, for the people. We're going to be heroes to the people. No, you ain't no hero, man. You're a punk. Goddamn terrorists breathing free air. The freedom that our brothers of arms defend for you. We're a bunch of sadistic traitor asses. Yeah, that's truly what you should call your army. Traitors. You know, I, I would have more respect for you if you crossed the border and joined some other radical group and jumped on the hate of everyone bandwagon. But planning something like this on your own land against your own people? Taking innocent lives because you think worthy? Punk. You're a punk. You have a lot of heart, Roy. And I would have loved that you join us in this fight. But I suppose it's best that you die with the others so that this great country may be reborn. If they heard the gunshot, they want to speak to you. Prepare to meet your maker, son. All right, folks, listen up. Everything's fine. One of our deputies discharged his weapon. Nobody's hurt. But I saw Susie get attacked by someone dressed in black. And I heard a gunshot from the diner. And it's been closed since noon. Look, I don't know what you saw, what you think you saw. But everything's going to be all right. I want you all to go home and stay home. Come morning, everything's going to be fine. All right? Now get. Go on. Get. Good memories when I was a kid, you know, going camping, playing stickball. It was great times, man. Uh, tennis ball or handball? Oh, the handball, man. We used the bat, baseball bat. It was sewer plate to sewer plate. It was your home run, you know? And we always challenged all the kids from the neighborhood, you know? It was a boy of boys versus all. I don't get it. You guys in your freaking stickball, dude. Uh, it seemed like a different world back then. Yeah, man, I, I, I got great memories. Uh, you know, my I remember when my brother came home from leave. Mm. We'd go out there in the living room, hang out on the carpet, and we'd play with those little green army men. <laughs> it was the coolest time ever. I mean, I'll, I'll never forget it. Yeah. I miss him. It was really awesome. I mean, I got some wonderful memories up here. How about you, dude? You, uh, you kept in touch with your boys any at all since you've been back? My brothers? Um... Oh, you know, one, one I think still lives up in there, Portland, Oregon, and um, the other one, somewhere, him and his family up there uh, in New York, the last I heard. How about you? You know that. Cassandra was three years old, Amanda left us, man. Uh, yeah, that, I know, but I mean, what happened? It's tough. It's tough. When uh, Cassandra was born, Amanda was, she was hooked on drugs, man. But, uh, that was really tough. I mean, when you, when you find out your spouse is cheating on you, uh, everything goes south really quick, man. 
it, it turns everything completely upside down. She took a trip to New York City, hung out with a friend of hers, hooked up with this thug, man. I mean, to say irresponsible would be a, would be a fucking understatement. I mean, she turned her back on her family. Hmm. You know how tough it is being a single parent? You know how tough it is being me and raising a little girl? You're a great little girl, man. I got a good girl, that girl over there. She's my angel. Here you go, Groy. I cut off the ends like you like. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. Look at you. She's my angel. All right. You say you got a plan, let's hear it. I got a plan. For damn sure I got a plan. You know, my job, it's got its perks, okay? Yeah. Um, I make the rounds, and, and, and through making the rounds, I can figure out who's got the same likes as I do or the same dislikes as I do. The fact is, Chester, he must have an armament over there. Each month, he gets a new toy in. Yeah. Okay, but what good does that do is if they're meeting on Chester's land? Well, you know, we don't even know if Chester's down with us or not. Oh, because Chester's a brother. He must be down with it. Okay, here's a news flash. Sheriff White McWhite man turned out to be the head devil in charge, so maybe the brother is is clean. Chester keeps his guns in the shop in the back in, in, in this cabinet. I mean, I, one time I took cover from the rain I saw out there, it's easy to get into. He's got an arsenal, man. That's an asset. Oh, okay, but what about the battleship? Yeah, what about that? Battleship? Okay, guys, here's the plan. Ship's here, okay? We go in, we take out the power supply instantly. It's an old ship, everything shuts down. Yeah. Right. Okay, clear the ship from bottom to top. Okay. That's the plan. Right now, the most important damn thing, everybody get their ass in gear, get out of here, grab everything you need, and be back All within right. two hours. Let's do Let's it. Let's go, You know I'll be back. I know that, Dad. I love you. I love you. Hey, baby. Make sure you call Uncle Eddie. Take the overwatch. Float to the breach, TJ. Did he bring ball cutters? Fuck no, didn't bring them. Fuck, do you think, bro? Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Under 
go, 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 go. Everything he did was cool. The way he walked was cool. The way he talked was cool. The way he smoked cigarette was the coolest. Can you imagine James Dean smoking one of these fucking things? Absolutely no cool factor. You know what I'm saying? You must be, uh... Roy Boyle, right? Well, this is a good day. I was hoping I'd get a chance to meet you. Say you used to be something back in the day. I mean, personally, uh, no offense. But I just don't see it, man. All right, man. Let's do the same.
Yeah, nice to meet you too. Back on Kenny. Clean the lower deck. Upper deck's clear. Quarter deck's clear, man. Thanks for being here for me. You good? I'm good. You good? Okay. All right, I'm gonna have Kenny and Becca meet us at 0400 hours at checkpoint. 0400 checkpoint. Got you. Got it. Yeah. Right here. Right. Let's finish this thing. God damn it. Thomas, what's up, man? Who are all these people? What are you doing with all this equipment, man? What is that about? I'm sorry, brother. I'm so sorry. All right, secure the perimeter. I don't want anybody getting in or out. I want this completely locked down. We have 18 hours to get to checkpoint B in Virginia if that map Larry put together is correct. What about the North Carolina? The boat's about 80 miles out and on point. No, it's not a boat. It's a battleship. All right. Who's our contact in Virginia? Malloy. Jameson Malloy, 1st Cavalry. I know Malloy. It's good to know your friends. Even better to know your enemies. All right, let's go! What? fuck have we got into? I don't know what the fuck we got into, but I know how the hell we're getting out of it. I got left flank. All right, maybe 12 o'clock. Yeah, 12. Well, let's do this. Run up, guys. You stay close. This is going down now. Contact! You're both my bitches. Oh, you back now, huh? Cover us. Go. Cover us, girl.
Him? I'm a soldier. Oh, hey, you got a lot of bleeding. Uh, Forgive you, Thomas.
smile.